What's poppin' y'all? <clears throat> this is episode 13 of Shit That Be On My Mind. If you like what I'm saying, <clears throat> hit that like button and subscribe. Today, we're gonna talk about Donald Trump and Nancy Pelosi. Today, Nancy Pelosi is announcing that she's going to do an impeachment inquiry on Donald Trump. What they say in politics, the October surprise, that's, that's one shooter drop, right? Then Donald Trump response is going to be, he already then sent troops over to Saudi Arabia. So he's positioned troops already to attack Iran, if need be, but he's going to attack them. So that's going to be his response. So then the third is we have an election going on. So you put all this in the melting pot. The economy ain't doing too good. The, the stock market is up and down because the whole China and U.S. thing. I mean, it's, 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 it's an orchestrated disaster. So people... That's listening to this, try not to be so emotional and just think through it and say, damn, it's like a playbook. It's like something they do when things ain't going their way. If it's not going the Republicans' way, they do certain shit. When it's not going the Democrats' way, they're going to do certain shit. So by Nancy Pelosi saying she's going to do an impeachment inquiry where she's trying to fish to see, okay, does she have enough votes to impeach him? That's going to create such a backlash that Donald Trump is going to win land, a landslide. And you're hearing it first from me, Bishop. I'm telling you, he's going to win a landslide. I don't give a fuck what candidate they put in front of him. He's going to win. And the reason why he's going to win is because... At the end of the day, they always want to, the, the Democrats, they always want to go after the black vote, the minority vote, black vote, minority vote, because that makes up their base. The Republicans' base is made up of white, I don't really want to call them conservative, they just love America, dog. You understand? They love America like through and through, man. They really bleed that shit. You feel me? So... When you think, when you hear all these people, oh, I hate Trump. Hey, not not black people, not minorities, but just white people. Oh, we hate Trump. We da, da, da. Ask them who they're going to vote for. I bet they tell you, they'll say they don't like Trump, but they're not going to tell you they're they not going to vote for Trump. Because that's called the silent majority. Remember, white people still outnumber minorities in this country. So they still have a majority over us. That's why they call it the silent majority. Now, the ones you hear screaming, oh, fuck niggers, fuck the spicks, fuck, you know what I mean? Just basically saying, fuck all immigrants and all that. Them is a small amount of white people. Them is like the niggers. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got black people and you got niggers. Them is like the niggers of the white people. But but black black people, which they have white people who basically think, just like black Americans who think they ain't just on some thug shit and being gangster and all. They really thinking out here. They really, you know, really using their brain. Them is the white people of the uh, Republican Party. Them is the ones that's not going to tell you who they're going to vote for. They just going to stay silent. They may make a comment here and there. But they're going to stay silent for the most part. So when it's time to go vote, trust me, they're going to vote for Donald Trump. I don't care what. Democratic nominee they put in front he, she I don't care, they can dig a, trans, a transgender up, I don't give a damn who they go get they is not going to win and by doing this impeachment they definitely not going to win so like I said, and then the other part Donald Trump, okay since y'all want to do impeachment, I'm going to do uh, start a war so now we got a war going on uh how 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 Congress gonna look? The Democrat part of Congress gonna look if they don't support him. See this all this shit is chess, man. You know what I mean? She made her move. Now he gonna make his move, and then war break out. How w would it look for any Democrat nominee, any Democrat uh, person in the House or Senate don't support 
you know, Trump come to him and say, hey, we need X amount of dollars. If they don't support him, they're going to lose their re-election because their base and their their uh, uh, constituents or the people in their community is majority white people. And they bleed red, white, and blue. You understand? So he's going to make that move. And then we're going to have an election. And he's going to win by a landslide. And that's going to be it. So just like I said, man, when y'all watching this shit. Watch it closely without emotions. Take the Democrat hat off, take the Republican. I'm neither I'm 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 neither of both. I don't rock with them Democrat niggas, I don't rock with Republicans at all. I'm just a person who can see down the middle. So what you want to say, like an independent? Because I'm an independent thinker. So that's just my thought on it, and that, that's why I think anybody who is a Republican or Democrat, just take your hat off for a minute and just take the motions out of it and just think, like, okay, this is a playbook that they're using, man. This is something, it looks unorganized, it looks like the world going damn near end, but this is all orchestrated, man. These people are, are puppeteers on a higher level, man. So that's all I got to say. Peace.